jersey spotting number one. Let me keep track how many messy jerseys I see. It's all in one so far. We're at one. I might end up walking the entire stadium most of the time today. Gotta get the steps in. Now we're in my Fitbit, so I won't be able to track it very well. Oh, messy jersey number two. Just saw it over there. Messy jersey count, we're at two. Alright, so we're here indomitable. What do you expect out of this match? Maybe a tie, a win. And right now it's uh, right now Brighton has complete advantage of the spot over here. But you know what's odd though is um if you didn't know, they had a hydration break. Mm -hmm. I heard. In a dome stadium. Yeah. We were in a dome. Low hey. in air conditioning. Listen, it's it's English people, they're not used to this type of climate, you know. They need their water breaks. And uh, it's in preseason too, so I mean they don't want to risk anything. So I guess that's why they're doing. It's true, we're trying to prevent France, but we are in the dome. What? Yeah, a dome. <laughs> a dome. Just saw number three, Messi jersey spotted. We're at number three, ladies and gentlemen. Number three. All right, we are here with Glenn. Five takes from five. Yeah, the goal from uh, Brighton. Uh, was um, what do you call it? Good. Direct. <laughs> uh, three touches. Goal kick. Controlled touch, which we were just talking about. Uh, what's, what's, what's that? What's a controlled? What what's a controlled touch? Um, and then I can uh, learn a little bit about that. Uh, and then shot and goal. Do you have any uh, anything else you want to add? Um, Chelsea's a mess. We have been, but we're scoring goals. Um, we've scored nine goals. In the preseason. So you're happy. <laughs> We're happy, boys. We're happy today. Messy jersey number four just was spotted. Number four. Oh, this might be another one. No, it's an Argentina blank jersey. Not number 10. Not nothing on the back. Can't count it. Oh, there's another Argentina jersey. Is it? Is it? Is it? Nope. Di Maria. Nope. Okay. So it's four. At four. Jersey number five. We got an Argentinian jersey this time. We're at number six. We got a PH PSG this time. Uh, that's a, a first first for today. Messi jersey number seven. Reporting in. Just saw it's a Barcelona. All right, so we are here with Henry Higuida from. Dirty South Soccer. Hey guys, I want to talk about tonight. Right now we got the Brentford, Brentford v Brighton game. It's pretty entertaining, it's Just going well. Uh, yeah, right now it's still 1-0 though. I'm, I'm, I'm rooting for Brighton myself. I just like the color blue, I like them too, so um, great game there. But looking forward to tonight's showcase game, Newcastle versus Chelsea. Um, I like them obviously, because they're blue as well. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, but I gotta also got to go for Elmer, you know, hometown guy. Definitely remember his time here with Atlanta, so I'm going with him too. Uh, I just want to see a really good game. Messi jersey number eight spotted going up the escalator. Number eight, Argentina. All right, we're here with Tyler. Tyler, What's from going on, South guys? Soccer. How's it going? Yeah, Mercedes Benz for the Premier League Summer Tour. It's good to be back in the bins and not have to worry about. Who's going to win? Who's going to lose? Enjoying Brighton right now. Moises Caicedo is out there playing. He was linked to Atlanta United a while back. Which I is cool. remember that, yeah. So, um, no, I mean, it's, just, it's a cool environment. It's a cool atmosphere. The Newcastle game, how's that going to go? Uh, I mean, I, if I'm taking bets, I think Newcastle's going to win. Not that it really matters, but um, at the end of the day, you get to see Mickey. Young one was the ninth messengers of today. That's number nine. Yeah. We're here with Niall. Everyone loves him, everyone knows him. And we're also, you know what? I found Mark. I actually found Mark. We, we found him. He's here. And there he is. Hey, Mark. 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 Hey, Mark.
there he is. I'm most excited for this match with Mickey making his grand return after, I don't know how long, like four years or something like that. Yeah. Hot question, real quick. Is Pineda on the hot seat? Is he getting fired if he loses on Saturday? Uh, he's definitely on the hot seat, but I don't know. If he, I don't think he's going to get fired if he loses Saturday. I think if they don't make the playoffs, then yes, he will get fired. What do you think? Uh, I would... I don't see a scenario with Benito gets fired before the end of the season. Even though, like, I think they will think about firing when he just starts looking for the next coach before the season ends. But I don't actually think they'll fire him until the season's over. They should have done right there. What's up? They should have passed the Miggy. Yeah, it's usually a good idea. Call Chelsea. I enjoyed that very much. Very, very much. Come on, Chelsea! Alright, so when the kiss can comes on, you're ready, right? Uh, sure. Good. Alright, just checking, making sure. I saw my 11th messy jersey walking down the stairs. Alright, continue. One to one, end of the game. Mark, what are your initial reactions? I think Chelsea and Newcastle are definitely going to win the Premier League. Heard it here first. From America, even. <laughs> Before it hits the balmy shores of the UK. The Premier League's been decided today in the States. That's right. All right, so here we are after the Newcastle game today. Newcastle 1-1 with Chelsea, and we have a live and in-person Newcastle supporter here to talk about the game. All the way from Newcastle. All the way. <laughs> Via California. We had a great time. It's a brilliant stadium. Best football stadium I've been to. Really? Air conditioned, man. Yeah. yeah, that helps a lot. Yeah. Too much, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, that's a bit soft. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I mean, so really. What did you think of the games? The games are okay. I mean, I was disappointed they didn't change the teams up, so we saw more of the players. Newcastle should have won. Nick Pope made a couple of really, really good saves. Pope and then Pope and Miggy, man of the match. Oh, yeah. Miggy's goal was awesome. His left foot is. World class, yeah. world class. We loved yeah. it. We love him. We love him in Newcastle. Oh. I said, oh, thank Most you, thank you for hosting this whole thing in Atlanta. Yeah, it's a wonderful yes. place to be. You know, great place. It's hot as hell, but <laughs> it's a great place to be with an air-conditioned stadium. I've been following Chelsea for um, as long as I can remember, probably since I was eight. You know, I think uh, tonight's um, it's an okay performance. You know what I mean? Obviously, we'd like to win, but uh, Newcastle's a good side. You know, what I mean, top four. You know, Almiron got the goal. Obviously, it's all it's what all the Atlanta fans wanted. Um, you know what I mean, but um, yeah, I ran in the stars, but you know, it's um, you know, it's a work in progress for Chelsea. It's decent performance overall. I'm uh, I'm okay with it. Anything else you want to say? Uh, no, that's it. Go Chelsea. So my experience, I've never been here before, but it was pretty cool. Like I got to experience the atmosphere with all the other Chelsea fans. I don't know, watching the goalie, watching the defenders. It's like, it's like up and down. It's like, <gasps> yeah, it's, 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 it's energetic. It's energetic. Yeah. It's dynamic. It's keeps you on the edge of your seat. Yeah, of course. And when it's like on the other side, when it's like when they're about to score on you, you're just like, no, don't do it. It's like nail biting. It's like. Oh! It definitely it was crazy it was something to experience chelsea let's go i would say if you never like watched soccer or anything i definitely would this is my first time and i thought it was pretty cool i definitely will go to more